Guys, this is my ride or die system. Welcome to Martin Point. Guys, I'm gonna show you what system I would use when I roll up to the table. When I go to a casino, I've had a lot of people ask me, what do you go to? What is your system? What do you play? This is my ride or die. So what I do is, is I actually drop down. I'm a 110 inside guy. So what I'll do is I'll drop down 110 on the inside, okay? Now understand, you have to have the proper bankroll. The bankroll for me typically is about $1,000. In many cases, if I'm going to the casino and I have $1,000 I want to play with, I'm going to play this system. Now, I do alter this exact same system a little bit if I only have $500. So in this case, I didn't have the black chips. I had $500. Now I'm only going 66 inside. So with a 66 inside, it's preferable to have a $10 table, but you don't have to. It's still going to be your bet, a press, and then a regression back down the base. That's the idea. Um, they call it skill 66. I call it my regressor. It doesn't matter what you call it. The idea is the exact same. It's a regression system. So again, what I do is I start off with 110 inside, and I'm going to put a $1,000 bankroll just so there's no confusion. $1,000, 110 inside. Let's say it gets a hit on any inside number. It's going to pay us $35. I'm going to tell the dealer I'm going to drop down $9, okay, and say take me $44 inside. Okay, so what that means is is they're going to take what your bet here, okay, they're going to take your bet here, and then they're also going to press you 44 inside. So let's go ahead and do that now. So I'm going to pull this back. I'm going to get some ones, some fives here. Okay, now what you have here is a $35 bet and a $42 bet. Any of these bets is going to pay 50 for one. 50 for one. Once you get that, la that next hit, let's go ahead and do that. Let's just say the five hit. It pays us 50. It pays us $49 or 50 for one. We're actually going to drop this dollar back into the bank. And now you're going to tell me to take me down to $66 inside. When you tell them it takes you $66, the dealer will do just that. So that's 50, 60, 5, 66. So that's your $66 that they're going to spread out. And the rest of this is going to go back to your rack. So we're going to pull all this back. This will go to your rack. So let's see what we have here. So you have, again, 66 insides, what they're going to press you. You have 100, 110. So that's your initial, initial investment. You have profit plus your $66 that's working for you. So you're actually bringing money back to your rack and you have a sizable bet that you're ready to play. Okay, guys, I want to give you a few statistics here. We all know that there's six ways to roll a seven, right? Well, there's 36 combinations. That's one in every six. Well, if you take that down to a percentage base, that's 16.67% that you're actually going to roll a seven on any given roll. It doesn't matter if they rolled for four rolls, for two rolls, or a point, or, or just set the point. That percentage is 16.67. Okay, now, to get two hits to win this system, you've got to avoid big red twice. you got to get avoided twice to get back into profit and get out of the hand. That's, the, that's what we call out of the hand. All right, let's do it, guys. We're going to get a point established. We're going to roll this thing out, and let's see if we can do anything with it. And again, we are going to show you how this system works. So it's going to be on the 10, so that's going to be our point. So we said a while ago, we're going to drop down 110 on the inside. So we drop the dealer, tell me, please take me 110 inside. So they're going to set it up with $25 units. So you're going to have $25 units on, the, on, every, on every box number on the inside, and then you have a $30 unit on the 6 and 8. All right, let's get another hit. Okay, it's going to be a 6, all right? So remember what I said we're going to do. This pays $35, okay? We're going to use this money. We're going to drop down $9, or if you don't have the ones, do it, please. You know, Just drop down 10, and they'll give you a return. And say, please pressure me 44 inside. Pressure. Don't take me down. Don't let them get confused. Say 44 pressure. So that's exactly what they'll do. And so we're going to set these up. All right, now, so here we are. So we got $44 pressure. We got a ready set up. We have, again, these are going to pay 50 for one. And now let's see if we can get another hit. There's a Yo 11. That's a mid Mochiro. And there's an eight. That's great, guys. So a 628, again, it's going to pay $49. This $42 bet pays $49. Or in this case, we're going to tell them 50 for one. Okay, so we're going to do that. And we're going to tell them to take me down to base level or 66 inside. So what they'll do is they'll cut you out $66. 
It has 50, 65, 66. This is what they'll spread out, and then they'll take this, you'll take this to the rack. All right, so this will all come back to your rack. Again, we have excess money coming back to the rack. We have a $66 spread that we're about to put on the inside. Just like that. And then make sure we put our caps on our six and eight. Boom. So what you have here now is your base bet level at $15 level. So it's a $15 on every bet except for the six and eight where you have $18, which is your caps. All right, let's go, shooter. All right, and there's a seven. What a great time to hit a seven and show you the regression part. So in this case, I actually pulled back profit. I got out of the hand in two hits. That is the goal. Be totally out of the hand, put money in your pocket, and two hits. That way, whenever this big red does come on the third roll, in this case, on third roll it came. And you didn't really lose any money because you actually was able to bring your big bet back. That's your regression part. All right, let's do it again, guys. Let's get another setup. All right, it's going to be on the four. That's a 314. So we're going to tell this dealer the same thing. Take me 110 on the inside. All right, there you go. All right, so we got our bet set up. And uh, now we'll see if we can hit a couple numbers. And we don't. We don't this time, guys. So, all right, let's take it to this point. This is your vulnerability. The, this right here is a show your vulnerability. You do have holes. This is your hole in the system. If you cannot get two hits, you won't win, right? You cannot win unless you get two, at least two hits. I would say win. That's not the right answer. You will tread water if you cannot get two hits, right? Because uh, this, this is critical. Because this right here all comes back, and you didn't collect anything off that shooter. So we're going to turn the point off, okay? We're going to get another point established. All right, it's going to be aces. All right, so we're not playing the pass line, so that doesn't matter to us. Another seven. That's another front line winner. And an eight. Okay, so our point is going to be on the eight. That's an easy eight. So we're going to drop down 110. Do the exact same thing. Tell them 110 inside. Again, this is my ride or die system. I play this, a variation of this, every single time I go to the casino. Whether it's the 110, uh, skill 66, it's a base, a press, and then a regression system. Every single time, guys. All right, let's do it. All right, there's going to be on the five. Okay, so the five is a hit. It pays us $35. We're going to tell him to please pressure me 44. You're going to drop him nine. Got to drop nine dollars to do that. And when he does that, that's going to take him all the way up. All right. All right, shooter. Here we go. One more hit is what we're looking for. And there's a 10. We're not there yet. That's the hard 10. And there's a hard eight. That's beautiful. That is our point. So an eight is going to pay 50 for one, okay? So 50 for one. And you're going to tell a dealer, take me down to what? To 66 inside. So that's what they'll do. All right, and then the rest of this can go back into your rack. So this comes back. Red chips goes back. Oh, not there. And then this goes back into your rack as well. That is our point. We're going to turn it off. And uh, we can go ahead and take this here and, and go ahead and set up our 66 inside. A lot of times they'll go ahead and do that because it's a lot easier. All right, there we go. All right, let's get another point established. Again, our bets are up and off. All right, there's a seven. That's another frontline winner. When the puck is off, that's a great time to hit it. All right, it's going to be on the nine. So the new point is going to be on the nine. Let's mark the point. All right, so now we're ready to roll. Again, we got our $66 inside, and uh, we're ready to hit some numbers. So now, okay, so I'm going to give us options. So once we hit, I'm going to show you the different options you can go to. All right, it's going to be a four. We didn't get a hit yet. All right, there's a five. Okay, so let me show you what you can do. Depend, that's going to pay us $21. Okay, the five will pay us $21. Now, the options that you have is, is, is really endless here. Um, you could take this, this $21, and you can make it. You can press it $10 to make that a quarter. Okay, now depending on what uh, table limit is, if it's a $10 table, you can actually take the $10 and go to the 4 and 10. You can split it and put that back into your rack. Okay, um, you could also do this. You can say um, it's a $15 bet. You can take this to 20 and put the one unit press and take that back to your rack. Um, you can do a couple other things. Um, you can actually take this $10, or I guess it would be to 20. You can actually take that $20. You can go to a combat system. So now whenever you hit, it'll travel to the eight or it'll travel to whatever number it is, and it'll travel to the combat right here. Okay. What other options do you have? You have a light side to dark side. You can take that combat there, or you can take the winnings, and you can go to the don't come. That way, when it hits again, it goes to it travels to the back side of the eight. So now you're working from a light side to a dark side, and you can pull that bet down. 
so many options or whatever number it hit. Let's just say you hit the five on the next number, you, you would pay and you'd pull that number down. Now, what I'm gonna do in this system, what I'm gonna plan on doing, I'm actually gonna drop the 10 and four. I'm gonna drop down $10 to make them $15 each. So I'm gonna drop an additional $10 out of my bankroll. That way I'm gonna cover every number on the, on, the, on the table, or at least in the box. All right, here we go, let's keep going. And that's gonna be a six, that's great. That's gonna be another $21. Okay, so I did press the last one. I gotta put something in my, in my rack. You have to put money into your rack. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's take that $21. Let's go to the rack. All right, there's a five. That's great. Because what we did was, that's a $15 bet. That's going to pay us 21 So now this time what we could do is, because we collected the last one, we can actually make these both quarters, take that to the rack. And now you have two green chips here. Let's go and exchange those out. So now you have two green chips on the five and nine. So now those are ready to hit bigger numbers. All right, let's go, shooter. All right, there's another five. That's beautiful. That worked out just great because now that five there is going to pay $35. Again, there's so many different options that you have. Uh, what can you do? You can collect the quarter if you wanted to, and you can take these four and 10. You can buy them now. So now they're at $20. So you can buy the four and 10. That'll cost you a dollar vig for each. If you do that at a casino, um, you can buy the four and 10. All right, here we go. Let's do that. Uh, beautiful. You couldn't have asked for a better time to do it because now that's a three, one, four. That four, that's a $20 four. It's going to pay us $40. So what we can do, we could pay it 50 for 10. So I'm going to do a 50. I'm going to pull back 10 and put it two green chips. I'm actually going to put both of those green chips into the rack, just like that. Job shooter. And there's a seven out. All right. Well, that's okay. We got out of the hand. We made some money and we was able to press our bets a little bit as well. Let's pull this back. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this content. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, the like button, and make sure your notification button is turned on. The channel has been growing all because of you. I put out content like this every single week. Please make sure you're up to date. Make sure you hit subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching. Let's continue with the video. Okay, so what, I, what I'm going to do is, I've already ran two runs of those. I'm going to show you my exact same ride or die system that I would do at a little bit low, a lower bankroll. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take away that $500. And now I have, let's go ahead and make these right. I want to make, make sure I do. I'm only going to play with $500, okay? So that's $500. Now that's 400. This is going to be our 510. Boom. So what I have here is exactly $500. I have 400. I have 90 and 10. So that's $500. I'm going to play this exact same thing at a lower level. So that way, if you don't have $1,000, but you still want to play this exact same progression, I want to show you how it'll work. All right, let's get a point established. All right, it's going to be a six. That's a hard six. So what I'm going to tell the dealer is, can you take me $66 inside? Okay, so we're going to drop down 50. That's 65, that's 66. Tell them to take me 66 inside, and that's exactly what they'll do. So they'll put down $15 units on every unit, on every number. And of course, it'll be $18 for the six and eight. Just like just like that, guys. And let's uh, let's see if we can get one more hit to press it up. All right, that's going to be a five. That's great. All right, so that's going to pay us $21. Okay, now what happens when you do this? When it plays 21, you're going to tell them 22 pressure. In order for you to do that, you got to drop a dollar. So if you drop that dollar, that tells them 22 inside pressure. So now they're going to put everything up $1 unit or one unit higher. And so it's going to look just like that. So now you can get $20 bets all the way across, $24 on the six and eight. Each of these bets are going to pay $28. All right, let's go. And that's a seven out. It did not work for us, guys. So again, I've, I know I've said this before. I'm going to say it again 100%. If you cannot get two hits to get out of the hand, it's going to scorch you guys. But that's almost any system you play. This is a good betting strategy. You just have to be able to hit enough numbers to be able to get two out of the hand. All right, let's get another point established. Uh, it's going to be uh, a crap three. No help to me. All right, that's going to be, oh, wow, aces. That's back-to-back -back horns. See a horn, better horn. All right, it's going to be on the nine. So the point's going to be on the nine. All right, so we're going to, again, drop down 66 inside. So tell them, please drop me, or go 66 inside. All right, so we're going to set it up for them. All right, perfect, guys. We're all set up. All right, here we go. Well, again, we're looking for two hits. Two inside hits. Wow, that the back wall, that thing's scattered. So that's a five three eight. That's great. So again, that's gonna pay $21. You're gonna drop down one dollar for the dealer. Say, so tell me take me 22 pressure on the inside. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna pressure it all the way across and uh and get ready for one more hit. That's what we're looking for, guys, to get out of the hand. 
and that's beautiful. That's another eight, guys. That's a hard eight. All right, so what's going to happen is we're going to tell them, take me down the base, back down the $15 on each bet, which is 66 inside. Now, if you're on a $10 table, ideally, in an ideal situation, if you're on a $10 table, take me down to 44 If not, you're going to go back down the base of $66. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. So we're going to bring some of this money back. So we're going to pull that and that. So this is going to be our main bet there. So what we have here is you have 20, you have your original bet. Okay, this is your bet that you started with. So now you have 25, you have 45, 50. You have $50 in profit going back to your rack on that little press. Okay, so here we go. Let's do it again. All right, here we go, shooter. All right, it's going to be on the five. All right, so I told you our options, right? So that is a three, two, five. So let's go ahead and pay it, pay it $21. All right, again, what can we do this time? Let's do the same thing we did last time. Um, we are going to tell them to spread it out to the four and 10. I'm going to drop down $10 and give it and make sure they're $15 on each. We can put that quarter back into your rack. So now you're set all the way out. In case you don't know, that's 96 across. That's $15 units on each one. It's called 96 across. All right, shooter, let's go. Again, your initial investment, dang it, that's a seven. But your initial investment was only 60, 66 plus the two that you dropped in. But in this case here, we did lose it all. Because uh, we can't get more than more than just a few rolls, but that's okay. You brought profit back to your rack, and that's how you sustain for the next roll. All right, it's gonna be on the eight. That's gonna be a six two eight. It's another smart point. All right, here we go, guys. Showing you my ride or die system. This is what we do. Go sixty six inside shooter or dealer. All right, so they're gonna set you up at sixty six inside. Get two more ones or right there. Just like that, guys. All right, let's do it. Oh, knocking over chips. All right, come on, shooter. Okay, I'm looking for two hits. Oh, and we don't get it. All right, that shows you the vulnerability of how dice works, guys. That is a seven out. So again, that's your that's your breaking point on any shooter. If you can't get the if you avoid the PSOs, you're great. Or at least two hits, you're great. If you can't avoid them, then it's not gonna work out for you. Okay, here we go. So um, let's go ahead. I'm not even going to count it up because it doesn't matter. Um, I hope you enjoyed the content. Again, people ask what I do. This is my ride or die. I go to the casino. If I have a $1,000 bankroll, I'm 110 inside, and I'm pressing, I'm regressing. If I only have $50, I'm 66 inside, I'm pressing, I'm regressing. That's the best way to get out of the hand. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy this content. Until next time, mark the point and stay awesome.